y'all, and welcome to India Brady Art. Before I start today's project, I'd like to apologize for my absence, but I took a fall last Monday evening on my patio, and I've been recovering from some bruised ribs. So that's why I haven't been here. <laughs> um, also, I want to thank my new subscribers. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I hope you enjoy and be or get inspired by what you see. Um, last but not least, I want to thank those of you that have purchased from Glitter Makes It. Um, as you know, I get a small commission from that. And um, I hope y'all enjoyed your purchases. So anyway, I finally got my Christmas present. Um, and here it is. It's a holographic tray from Molds and Shapes. I don't know if y'all can really see the hollow in there, but yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my uh, Krylon 18 karat gold leafing pin and I'm going to see, the tip might be too thick, but I'm going to see if I can outline um, all the lines. Y'all may see some little tiny dark specks in here. Um, <laughs> the glitter that I'm using, um, it spilled, so I tried to get as much of it off as I could. And then um, after the leafing pin, I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes. And then what I'm going to do is take, let me move this out of the way so I don't mess it up again. I'm going to take this um, holographic glitter by Hemway. See, it's spilling already. But that's what it looks like anyway so i'm gonna fill the tray up with that and that should be it so let me see if i can try to get this pin it may be too thick the point maybe or But, anyway. Alright. So, let's see if this is going to work. This is a brand new pin, so what you have to do, I don't know if y'all can see this or not, but shake it up real well, and then dab it onto any surface. And that will get your ink flowing. So. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Awesome. Okay. So what I'm going to do is put y'all on time lapse. And I will be back in normal time <laughs> when this is done. All right, so see y'all in a bit.
Okay, y'all, so I've let the ink dry. It doesn't take it very long. And I've got eight ounces of Puduo resin mix. And I'm just going to take my little spoon and uh, scoop out whatever I think I need. But um, for those of you that are new to resin, uh, whatever you add to your resin, whether it be powders, paste, glitter, whatever you add, you really want to make sure that it's mixed really well. Otherwise, you're going to have little dry clumps rise up onto the surface of your resin. And that's no fun. <laughs> and also, as you're mixing, make sure you scrape the sides. Because if not, when you pour, little clumps can come out. Um, they stick to your stick. It's a mess. So I'm just pouring really slowly because I've got all of these lines that are not level with the surface. So I'm just pouring it real slow. And if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, uh, leave me a comment or a question, either one or both. But after the final result, um, really, I think I want to do this in a lighter color. I kind of liked the way this turned out, and then I don't. And that's eight ounces of resin. This, and it didn't fill up all the way. But I didn't want to mix any more resin and pour it in there. This was kind of like an experiment, and it's just for me. So um, that's why I didn't mix up any more resin. But all in all, I think it would probably take nine, maybe ten ounces of resin. So I'm going to take my heat gun and go over it and let it cure. So now it's all nice and cured. It took it a couple of days because um, it's been cold here um, and a little bit humid. So it took it an extra day to cure, which I'm glad it did. And that's what the back looks like. And there's the front. I was so excited. This, I like, I like it, and I don't like it. Um, it's, it's got a lot of pinholes in it. So, but all in all, I, I kind of like it. So here we are out in the partial sunlight. And there we go. So until the next time, y'all, stay safe and dare to create.